Well, it's collaboration time again. Yes. We have teamed up with five of our favorite YouTube friends, and we're talking all about our favorite campgrounds. So far. So far. So after you get into watching this video, make sure you pop over to the other channels. I'm sure their list is way different. Oh, yes. And it'll give you a bunch of good ideas on where you can stay as you travel around the country. Exactly. Add all these cool ones to your list. All of these on our list, you have probably never heard of. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but we chose all these for very specific reasons. Yeah. Some of them, it was for price, because the price is really, really good. Stay there at a weekly or a monthly rate for a really good deal. Yes. Some of these were close to family and friends. Mm -hmm. Some of these were very quiet or secluded, because sometimes you just need to get away from like an RV resort or a park and get out into like a real campground, get some space between you and other campers and get some peace and quiet. It's less people-y. <laughs> way less people-y, yeah. Some of these are really close to attractions or major cities where there's lots of cool and fun stuff to do. And some of these just had really great amenities and lots of things to do in the park. Yes. But they all have one thing in common. <laughs> They're all full of hookups. Of course. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay. Our first campground is Redmond Creek Campground in Wapapello, Missouri. This is a Corps of Engineer Park, mm -hmm. and it's rare because this Corps of Engineer Park has full hookups, yes. which you normally don't get at Corps of Engineer Park. Yeah, those are few and far. So we were able to stay at this one a little bit longer mm -hmm. than we normally would stay at a Corps of Engineer Park because yeah. we're not water conservers. We were right on the lake, in the back. It was very quiet at night, not a lot going on. No. Um, there's 109 sites at this campground, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of stuff to do out there. Even though it's secluded, it's not close to a major city, no. but it's right on the lake, so lots of fishing, swimming, boating activities. And the, one of the best parts about this park yeah. is the price. Yes, phenomenal price. Yeah, it's only $24 a night. Yeah, So for full hookups. And I think they let you stay like two weeks. Yes, two, two weeks at two a weeks time max. is the max, then mm -hmm. you gotta get out, which is good because it allows everybody a, a chance. chance exactly the next campground on our list is a military campground so it's not going to benefit everybody mm -hmm. but we put it on our list because that's where we stayed when we were close to rapid city south dakota yes. and this one is ellsworth air force base fam camp mm -hmm. and it is so close to all the cool stuff around that area it was it was so convenient to go to rushmore from yeah. there crazy horse sturges deadwood Badlands, it you was, name it, we were close by. It was a geographical oddity. Yeah. <laughs> like it puts you right in the middle of all that stuff. Yeah. So it's not super close to any one thing, but you can get to any one of those things in, in a, a really short time. day yeah. trip, which we did. Yes, we did. It's not bad priced. It kind of depends on the season. True. Uh, it's anywhere from 15 to $54, depending on when in the season. Of course, it's more in the summer. And I think they even close in the winter time. But mm -hmm. if you're in the off season, like, you know, fall leading into winter or coming out of winter into spring, it's a little bit cheaper. Sure. Yeah. We want to take a quick second to thank the sponsor of today's video, mm -hmm. Sumo Springs. Sumo Springs are a maintenance-free suspension enhancement for your RV or for your vehicle. We have them yeah. on both mm -hmm. and we love them. We've been using them for about six months and it is crazy the difference that Sumo Springs it's makes. Drastic. They're designed to reduce the sway, the hop, and the body roll. The body mm -hmm. roll is important because everybody's having these flex frame issues. Yes. And body roll is what causes those flex frame issues mm -hmm. and Sumo Springs reduces that. It increases driver control and comfort while you're driving. So we decided to put them on our truck too. And so even when we're not towing, we got a nice smooth ride. Yeah. Sumo Springs come with a lifetime warranty, 30 day money back guarantee, free shipping under 50 pounds, and best of all, handmade in the USA. Unlike independent suspension, you can take these guys with you it, from RV to RV. Correct. So if you switch rigs, you don't have to worry. You just pit, spent $10,000 on independent suspension and now you're selling your rig. You can just take these off. It's just one bolt on each yep. one. You take them off, you put them on your new RV. Yes. We want to say congratulations to Sumo Springs. They just made a deal with, with Brinkley RV. Mm -hmm. So now that every Model G toy hauler that comes off the line will have Sumo Springs on them. Yes. Of course, we recommend you buy an Alliance and just put the Sumo Springs on them. Yes. <laughs> Don't forget, if you're gonna buy some Sumo Springs, anything on the site, we can save you 15%. All you gotta do is put in the promo code WAYWARDWAGS before you check out. 
and save yourself 15 percent well i think this next one on the list is probably your favorite on our list it is it is the grand old rv resort i just like the name yeah the grand old rv <laughs> and as you can probably tell by the name it's located near Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. Where you can see all the cool stuff. I mean, we definitely got to go back to Nashville. Yes. It does keep you out of the heart of it. Yes, yeah, so you don't got to fight all the traffic. So, exactly. You're you're maybe what? 20 minutes it took us to get down there. Yeah, but it is it is conveniently located cuz you can get right downtown really quickly. Mm -hmm. The Grand Ole Opry, yes. which we went to, we did which was very cool. Yeah. Uh, music Row, the Country Music Hall of Fame. We did the Hop On Hop Off trolley tour. Yeah, took you all to like 13 different site stops. Yeah, so that's convenient in Nashville. And then if you want to catch like a football game or a hockey game, beautiful stadium. Yeah, you can pop into town mm -hmm. at the RV Park. You have some favorite amenities. Yes. You got live music every night by aspiring artists. Which is very cool. They do yeah. um, they do breakfast and dinner in their little diner in the little market. And it was reasonably priced. It, it wasn't was. re stupid crazy. Yeah. So at night when you're done with all of your adventuring out in Nashville, you come back to the RV park, you go, you don't have to fix dinner, you grab dinner. Each, you go, each night was a different theme of dinner. Yeah. You know, they had Italian nights, they had barbecue nights, you know, it, it rotated. Yeah, and then you bring your chair and you sit out there, you eat your dinner and you listen to music. It was wonderful. Yeah. Now it is a little spendy. It was. For us, That this was considered a splurge because yeah. we normally don't spend that much. So at about $45 a night, it's a mm -hmm. little much for us, but for all you get to do there and for all you're close to, I think it's definitely so worth, worth the price. it. So worth it. Can't wait to go back. Well, we were only going to do three on the list, but I decided to add a bonus. <laughs> yes. Because I like this campground. <laughs> yes, and I do too. It, to the average person, nobody will understand why. No, it's no frills. There's nothing special about this place. It is a field in the middle of nowhere. Yes. It's called Robido Spring Campground, and it's in Waynesville, Missouri. Mm -hmm. It's a city park, so it's managed by the city. It's very affordable. There's only 27 sites. Yes, very small. It's very affordable. It's only $20 a night, mm -hmm. so which is very affordable. Yes. I think it's only like $100 for like a week, like $300 for the month. So, I mean, <laughs> if you want to stay there for long term, you could do it you for really, it. really yeah. cheap. But there's not a lot going on around there. But no. the reason that I added it is because, fun fact, yeah. we got married like two blocks from this campground. We did. And this campground was our very first <laughs> home. It was. We were waiting for military housing and my parents had a camper. And so while we were waiting for military housing after we got married, they parked the camper in this campground and that's where we stayed. For like three, almost four weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So it turns out we were RVers a long time <laughs> and ago. And we didn't even, we didn't know, even it. know it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really, really close to Fort Leonard Wood, mm -hmm. which is convenient for us at the time. Yeah. But there are some stuff to do around there. There's a farmer's market right there on property. On grounds, yeah. Every weekend Every they weekend. have a fresh farmer's market. We went over there. We didn't get any anything good for you. We didn't get the healthy stuff. We got all the baked goods. <laughs> we got like cookies and brownies and stuff Breads. and coffee. Yeah, <laughs> nothing good for you. But the best part about this campground. Yes. You know what I'm going to say? Yes, I do. It's close to Uranus. It is. I mean, it's like <laughs> almost in Uranus. It, it, oh, it's so <laughs> close. <laughs> <laughs> what did you call it earlier? It's Uranus adjacent. There you go. Yeah. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and we are planning to go back there. We are. This summer. If you haven't been to Uranus, you got to go. And if you're looking for a place to stay, we're just going to this time we're going to stay on the military installation yeah. at Fort Leonard Wood because they just built a campground there too. Yeah. But if you're looking for a cheap place to stay, Robodo Spring Rob could be the spot for you. Yes. No frills by any means, nothing. But so peaceful, so quiet, and it's close to Uranus. And full hookups. <laughs> well, that's it. That's our list. That's it. Our favorite campgrounds <laughs> and some of the reasons why. Make sure you pop over to those other channels and check mm -hmm. out their favorite campgrounds. I'm excited to go see what their favorite campgrounds are. And maybe we'll get some ideas for places for us to stay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so pop over there, check those out, and uh, leave us a comment. Let us know if you've stayed in any of these campgrounds or in the future, if you stay at any, Come back, leave us a comment, and let us know what you thought. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, stick around for a few seconds because we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.